Hey there, it's Sonia Thady Bunny Co. and I am here to do my October weekly lineup, which is wild because it was just September. Well, I mean, technically it's still September, but I don't feel like I should have to be preparing for um, my Halloween kits. But, but, while I don't feel like I should have to, I'm so excited that it's time because I am a person who loves Halloween kits. Do I decorate for Halloween? No. Do I hide from the tiny humans with all the lights off and pretend I'm not home? Absolutely but I can't handle all the cute, like spooky art. I just can't handle it. So the first one up, I feel like everybody knows this is coming, but September 30th is the release of the Hocus Pocus 2 movie. And Kevin just watched his first Hocus Pocus like ever. He liked it. He said he thought it was a girl movie growing up, which I can kind of see where he was at. Um, but he liked it better than he thought he would and he is not adverse to watching it. So we will be watching it on release day and I'm very excited. I have this kit that I purchased during the last TPC sale from Caffeine Queens. It's called Witch's Brew. As you can see, it is Sanderson Sister theme, Sanderson Sisters themed, but like their coffee. Like, look at that. <laughs> this is cute. I just, I liked it. That was really it. This format, not necessarily my favorite format I've ever seen in a kit. But I think I'm going to be able to use it and it's going to be very cute. And then here's the bottom washi, which I like-ish the bottom washi. Like, I think this is cool. I don't much care for that. And so I was like, I don't really want double a little, like, coffee hair thing. So I was like, what do I want to do? So I went on adventure and I found two washies that one of them you're going to be like, girl, what you doing? The other one though, I think you'll get. So here they are right here. I've already swatched them and this is what I'm kind of looking at, right? So this one actually has like an orange foil, which I think is so perfect because like Winnie's hair is bright orange. And so I was like, okay, that bow is on point. And as I was digging, I found this um, floral, which I know, I'm aware, it makes no sense, but then I also thought, wait, graveyards have flowers, so why can't I use this? The color's really good, I've actually never pulled it into a spread, and I just thought it would be kind of cute. I get it's a little more cutesy than it needs to be, but I think it's still going to be cute, so I plan to pull those two in, and I'm actually kind of excited to see how that one turns out, but I'm about it. I really like this one, though, like this one is just like chef's kiss with this kit, so... That is, this is a kit that's for sure not changing. Like I am so ready for this one. So you can count on seeing that one. The next one up is the third through the ninth. I like-ish this kit. I like, hold on, I like this kit. The problem is, is I am not a huge purple person. And unfortunately with all the orange that I do like, Halloween tends to come with an awful lot of purple. But the theme of this kit is right up my alley. This is like watching spooky movies. And I love Casper. The Addams Family is my jam. Beetlejuice is so good. The Nightmare Before Christmas, I understand this is controversial, but I only like the first half of the movie. Like when we actually get where he meets Santa Claus, eh, I peter out after that. Hocus Pocus is good. I'm living for this Halloween Town sweatshirt. So I have this pool. I'm just not 100% sure on if it'll actually make it into the lineup. It's cute and tentatively this is where we're at because my Disney Plus uh, subscription expires on like the 8th and I plan to finish all the Halloween movies from Disney I want to watch before I cancel it out. So the washing that I pulled with it is one of these two but I don't remember which one it was so when we actually get to the kit colors we can decide. So here is the deco. Pretty sure this is an oops kit. I think it was this one. No, it was this one. It was this one. It was this one. That one goes to the other one. There's a lot of orange in October for me. So yeah, I like it. It's very cute. I like these patterns. They're really good. Her choice of purple is right up my alley. If I had to do purple, I definitely like the more mauve tones and the darker purple. So like if we had to do purple, this is my jam. But I just don't love purple. So I think I am going to cut this in half and use this washi. This is like a hollow. Um, and I think it'll be really cute with it. I'm going to go ahead and put this on the back because I got about 5,000 orange washies back here. And you know they're going to start causing some nonsense. So yeah, this is it. So I like it. I just don't know. I just really, really don't know. So we're just going to have to see what happens. I love both the girls. And I was going to pull in some foil, but I got tired and I didn't pick anything. So we'll see on filming day if not only do we use this kit, 
or you know if foil gets picked but I do think that it would be perfect for my plan so I think it'll stay possibly what do you guys think do you think this one will stay take, take your guesses Next up is one that is 100% gonna stay because I already wanna use it. This kit, I will say, was not my favorite kit when it was released, but I love pink, what can I say? And ghosties are super cute. Don't ever wanna meet a ghostie in real life, but they're super cute. And I will definitely say this little Frank coming out of the grave is my jam, really, really cute. And interestingly enough, I'm gonna omit this box because honestly, this orange kind of stresses me out with all the pink that I'm gonna be pulling in. That's just like my need to be matchy matchy. But this was last year's like ghost kind of kit. It had a name, I'm sure, but I bought it on $2 Tuesday. So all it says is $2 Tuesday full box kind of things. So as you can see, it's pinks and grays and I'm about it. I used these date covers last year for a different kit. I'm super excited about it. They're so cute. Then here's the color palette. Headers, I love. Look at these little rest in peace little checklists. Like, oh, so cute. And then tons of quarter boxes. And here's why I'm so excited about this kit. So this one's been omitted, by the way. I had to have a, I had to have a review with myself. So these are the ones that I have chosen. So I pulled out this sparkly, this one's pretty new to me. This is like bubbles or something. I just, it gave me, it gave me feels with this. I was like, this would look so good with it. Then I got these amazing ghost booties from Fox and Cactus. And look, their little butts are pink. Like these ghosties are into some shenanigans. But uh, the color is good. The ghosties look cute together. I was like, okay, let's do that. So I think this is going to be my actual bottom washi section right here. And then I'm thinking behind the date covers, I want to bring this in. And I understand that like there's not a whole lot of black other than the outline, but it looks so good with it. And I thought it would be really cute behind the date covers. So like here and then the date covers would peek from behind it. I think that's what I want to do. Um, I don't know, but I definitely want to use all three washi. So somehow all three of these will work in. I don't exactly know how, but I know I'm going to do it. And I'm excited because I think it's going to be very, very cute. Oh, I'm so excited about this little teeny tiny stack. Oh, so excited. Okay, so yeah, this one for sure is not leaving October. It could wiggle around, especially if that second kit gets omitted. But this one, oh, this one I'm so here for. Next up, we have the Molly one, which definitely is going to stay in the lineup. I love this kit. Oh my gosh, I love this kit. This is my Halloween offering, which I actually don't think I have the washi roll over here, but that's okay. Um, here are the full boxes, and you can see it's a very traditional color palette. Lots of purples and oranges and greens. So excited. Oh, and then I did these, like, fancy date covers. Like, as you can see, they're, like, you know, they're kind of kiss cut. Well, they are definitely kiss cut. Wow. They're kind of like a die cut sort of, like, planner supply thing. And it's really, I was proud of myself for that. And then here are the glitter headers. And here is the Molly Washi that actually matches the kit spent a lot of time getting those purples together. And then I decided to pull in this bright orange. Wait, is this the right orange? Yes, this is the right orange, right? Oh Lord, like I said, there's too many oranges over here. There's too many, there's too many oranges. Is this the right orange? Oh, now I feel like maybe this was the right orange. Why are there so many oranges? Okay, maybe it's this orange. No, it was this orange. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. This is good. Okay, so it's this orange. There we go. That's that's what's coming together. Oh, I don't know why that, that hurt my brain, but I think it's going to be very cute, and I'm very hyped to use this one. I was so tickled pink by how this one turned out, and it actually matches the Salem washi that if you went to TPC Salem, you would have gotten, which also we have some extras in the shop, but there's not a lot of those left. So should you be inclined, um, you should probably hippity hop on over and get that one. Final up. Now, this one could change, but only because I have two versions of this kit. This is a Kawhi sub from a year or two ago. This is the road trip kit. Kevin and I are going on the Wii road trip. It's just a Wii road trip, but we have one really long driving day. Um, and I just thought it would be perfect because like literally we'll be in the car all day. So we're going to see Penn and Teller. And um, I don't know much about Penn and Teller, but it's a, my husband's bucket list item. And when we went to Vegas, we were supposed to see it. And they canceled our Penn and Teller um, show like... 30 seconds before we actually left. So he was pretty bummed, but I found a more local-ish one. 
and yeah that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna go see Penn and Teller I only have these boxes so as you can see there's seven on each page and that's how we're gonna do it we're gonna do seven and seven that way I can make two more spreads out of this kit I do have another her her revamp of this one in like more muted tones this to me though says false I'm leaning toward this one um, I really like it and I'm pulling in this really fun washi. It's just like a pumpkin color again to try to bring in more Halloween vibes. But seeing as that the event is a pretty substantial road trip for, you know, one day, we're going to use this. Tons of boxes. I have a lot of this kit left. I've already used it. I think I used it once and then I used part of it in a little planner. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about this one. I, I really loved this one when it came out and I love the reformat. So I think I'm leaning toward using the ones that are more road trippy, which would be like this page compared to like this page. Cause this one says like Bon Voyage and I'm not going on a cruise. And so, yeah, I think I'm going to lean toward like these guys. So yeah, that'll work out. So I don't think this one will change, but if it does, it's just going to move to a different road trip kit. Cause you know how I am. I got like a thousand of each different type of kit. So yeah, that is the lineup. What do you guys think? Do you like the washi choices? Like all this delicious orange? Like, do you like orange? I happen to like orange. Yellow and orange are like not my in real life favorite colors. Like I don't want them in my house. But man, in my planner, do they just brighten everything up. And I love it. So anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. I would love if you gave this video, oh gosh, I dropped everything, a thumbs up. <laughs> if you decide you want to come join the Itty Bitty Cigar Hope family, please hit that subscribe button. And yeah, let's let's take a poll. Who thinks this is actually going to work out? I'm leaning toward this might be one of my first months that this actually works out, though, though I don't know. Who thinks it? I don't know. We'll see.